But Johnny, let's move on into our next topic. And what we are talking about is Deadpool 2. Got a new trailer this week. And if you guys are expecting us to watch the trailer for Fox, we don't. No. Because uh, Fox likes to take our money. No. Actually, by the way, I forgot to tell you this in private, so I'll tell you uh, on the air. Um, okay. I don't think we can watch Disney either. They claimed last week. Did they? They did. So I don't think we can do Disney unless we... To be honest, like, we could and just not make the money from that. But uh, I know oh, it sounds very like, oh, you're not making money. But for this, we would uh, like to make like, our ad revenue. Yeah, you know, just a little so, bit. like I always do, I will leave the trailer in the description so you can watch it while we're talking about it. On You can have that on mute, us going. And the big thing I liked from this trailer... Is we finally, or I thought we finally, got an idea of what this movie yeah. is going to be story-wise. Because now we know that the kid is Butterball, basically. That Cable is coming back in time to basically say, I need to kill this kid. We don't know why, which is great. Give me something to go see the movie for. Yeah. But I wonder if there is something that he does or somebody takes his mutant power and uses it in some way. And Cable needs to come back in time and kill him for that reason. What were your thoughts? What are you thinking of the story for Deadpool? What did we learn about it from this trailer? Well, I think it's really cool that um, we finally have an idea. Not just, hey, well, I mean, I love the We have comedy. a concrete I'm idea. Not, yeah, we have a concrete idea now. So he's coming back mm-hmm. to um, get to kill Butterball. Mm-hmm. Um, my guess is something, It's almost. I'm almost thinking Days of Future future past esque. Yeah. Whereas they're going back in time to stop or what he's doing is going back to kill Butterball mm-hmm. so that whatever ha- like in comes like whatever happens in the future. Happens in the future. What event happens to make his future happen, he mm-hmm. stops. Because that's what he, yeah. that's what cable does. He goes back in time to try and keep redoing the pa- things in the past until finally the future's good. Mm-hmm. Um so what happens is um I'm thinking that some big incident is going to happen with Butterball, and that's what he's trying to prevent us, so he's going to kill him before it happens. Mm -hmm. That's his easy solution. Or just make sure, like, ah, you're right, it's probably kill, because I would also say, like, oh, well, what if it's something where, like, we kind of seen, oh, what was it? I think it was, like, um, Logan. Yeah. In the future, they harvest um, the powers of mutants, to make their own mutants or to make their own weapons. Yeah, Days of Future Past, they did the, that. Where, uh, mm-hmm. the, Which they, was actually on TV yesterday. Was it now? Yeah, before Pac Ron. They did, um, and in case, spoilers in case you somehow didn't see it by now. Um, <laughs> it's been, what, a few years? A few years. Yeah. Um, so shame on you guys then. <laughs> I think it's, what, three years? Go ahead. I'm uh, look yeah. it up. No, so they take Mystique's blood and make sh- so that these um, um, Sentinels mm-hmm. can shape shift into whatever they need to be to defeat whatever X Men they're like. I'm gonna just call them all X Men. Yeah, mutant to defeat yeah. whatever mutant. 2014, so four years. So yeah, um, to defeat whatever mutant um power it is. So mm-hmm. Ice Men, they get really hot. Mm-hmm. Um, the fu- uh, I forgot his actual name. The one that with the fire powers, yeah. obviously Johnny Storm. The opposite. Basically Johnny Storm. Basically Johnny Storm. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean. That's, I think that's going to be generally the concept is you're going to go back and do that. Um, here's a question I want to ask you. Yes. And this is something that I was thinking during while watching the trailer. First off, I love the part of the trailer, and the only reason I'm saying it is because I have it on loop right now. Yeah. And it just popped up Oop. of where they blatantly make fun of Fox, where it's like the studio that brought you 27 dresses and the devil wears Prada. <laughs> but... The, the question I love going that going to be in there. The question that I'm going with is, so from the trailer, yeah, we get Cable's going to be the, and I'm using air quotes, bad guy, because he's fighting Deadpool. Antagonist. The antagonist. Do you You're think welcome. by the end of the movie, are they going to continue this? Because in the comics, for most of the first issues that um, Cable and Deadpool were together, yeah. they fought each other. It wasn't until much later to where they were like, hey, we're frenemies. We got to be on the same team for this. Do you think by the end of this movie, they become friends and there's a greater good that they have to stop? Frenemies, but yes. 
where maybe this happens, and this could be a spoiler, but I don't know. I'm not in the writer's room. Where Cable comes back, thinks, I got to kill Butterball, but then it's like, oh, wait, I don't need to kill him. Let me just kill this guy. Let me kill this main people over here, and if I stop them, they can't use his power to make the weapon or whatever that is haunting my future. Something like that, along the lines of that, or even um, the fact that, you know what, I, at first he thinks, oh, I got to kill Butterball. He mm-hmm. goes, oh, no, I just have to stop this. Like, Deadpool maybe, like, says, you don't have to kill the fucking kid. Yeah. I'm going to just say it like Deadpool. You don't have to kill the fucking kid. Yeah. You just have to stop the event from happening. Uh-huh. Exactly. <laughs> he looks Fourth at the wall. camera. Wow, that was shitty writing. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, that's what I think the... Do you think by the end, though, they're going to be frenemies? Frenemies. I think it's going to be Because they like have that. to, right? Because you can't, like, you can't do it like a TV series. You can't do it like the comic books and well, drag it out. They're already gonna... setting up X-Force, too, from this Exactly. Also. I mean, blatantly saying, we're going to call it X-Force. Yeah, and that's another thing that I saw that people were kind of upset with, where it was like, well, why is, why is Deadpool saying this? Cable's the one that put together X-Force. I was like... It's Deadpool's movie. Let Ryan Reynolds do whatever he wants. Yes. I, why, Let him do whatever he wants. Why are you questioning the, the only person in the Marvel Universe that breaks the fourth wall By regularly? By the way, Ryan Reynolds is getting a co-writer um, mention for Deadpool 2. Oh, is he? He is. Nice. I saw that on Screen Rants where he's going to be listed as a co-writer. I would hope so. Deadpool I feel 2. like he, if he doesn't improvise, he writes most of his own lines. Yeah. Well, he is Deadpool. I feel exactly. That's basically what it is. But I love the co- like the comedy in this too. Also, all the other trailers were like this too, but this one more so. Yeah, where it's just blatant comedy from Ryan Reynolds from Deadpool. The gluten comment when he comes home. Saving gluten. <laughs> I had to take all the gluten and throw it into space so it could never hurt us again. Or the line where um, my favorite one. Oh shoot! What one? Oh, the one where it's like I think I I think I pooped my pants. No, nope, nope, I think me. that was me. that may have been me. May have been me. Him in Professor X's chair. What <laughs> X Men? What cameos are we gonna get from the X Men oh, side of it? Man. Will it just be Colossus? Will it just be? Um, Negus on a teenage warhead. When, when he throws out the <laughs> like, yeah that one. <laughs> when he throws out the X Force and um, he goes, they've got to be this, they've got to be that, and they have to carry their own franchise. Because that's bl- blatantly a, hey, I'm not going to be here to carry X-Force. you got to do that on your own. Yeah. You gotta no, do- that- Deadpool's not going to be an X-Force. That was great. Um, also, I mean, just a little quips, like even uh, from Domino. Mm-hmm. I should have stayed in college. Is- <laughs> or the uh, when he goes, X-Force. Isn't that a little redundant? Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think of what... what did- I just saw it. The one word, hand to the palm, shoots through the palm, twists it around, shoots him in the face. So he gets a hole in his palm. That's Deadpool. A hole in his palm. Anything from this that you think we haven't touched, we need to touch, this one's probably not going to be the l- long segment for Rick and Johnny this week. No, but I mean, I just love everything about this so far. It just screams Deadpool. I love Is this that- going to be, b- dumb question, is this going to be better than the first one? I think so. You got because you don't just have Deadpool acting like Deadpool. You have everyone acting like a Deadpool movie. I mean, acting like a Deadpool movie. I mean, you got Butterball flipping people off. Here, you got uh, here's a question. That Negasonic just, Sonic just as go ahead. Looks like, looks Negasonic looks like she's just as um, uh, teenage angsty as the first one, if not more. Two things. First off, yeah. as a reference, um, the yellow shirt he has on, yeah. with the X throwback to when he actually wore. The X Men costume um, in the comics, where he had that yellow suit and uh, had the little X, I believe, in the right corner of his suit. Yeah. But also, what are you expecting from X Force in this one? Like, oh, are out you going to like itself? Because this is a team that I know I made the line of him saying, "Oh, they got to carry their own franchise," but literally they do because their movie is going to be. Um, I almost said Luke Cage. It's going to be um, Cable. And X Force. It's not going to be Deadpool and X Force. Deadpool's going to move on, and X Force is going to be their own thing. It's going to be their own movie without Deadpool, I assume. Yeah, no, they're going to have to. Um, so hopefully, th- and they hopefully they can. They're going to have to carry their own franchise. Thank like God you they just got said. a guy like Terry Crews. Yes, who can do that. But do you think like are you? What are your expectations? I should say for X Force in this movie, like the um, team. 
You know what? In this movie? Yes. I'm just in gonna, this movie. I'm just expecting comedy mostly out of it right now. Just because they're trying to get themselves set up. They're getting mm-hmm. themselves set up in a Deadpool movie. Yeah. But I'm, I'm expecting a slight serious aspect to some side of mm-hmm. it. Not completely, but just a little bit. Just so you can like, hey, you know what? I see this. I don't, I'm not going to see this as just another Deadpool movie. I want them to like show themselves as... I want to see... Very good use of each superpower. That's mm-hmm. one main thing I want to see. And I want to see them all use it at least one like one time to beat whoever's the bad guy mm-hmm. as a team combo. Yeah. So that's what I mainly want to see. Well, and that's the thing I am I am most, I don't want to say worried about. I want to say the thing is, oh, how do I want to phrase this? The thing that I'm most intrigued about is who's going to be that villain? Because, yeah, they're showing us a lot of Deadpool versus Cable. Yeah. Let's be completely honest. Cable is not going to be the main villain of this movie. He's there an will, antagonist. There will be not. one that pops up, and I don't know exactly. Do you have any, you being the Marvel guy, do you have any idea of what kind of, is it going to be like a mutant society? It's going to be an anti-mutant will it, thing. Will it be like a a striker kind of situation? Where yeah. maybe it's Stryker who has the facility that they're in with all the collars that um, Deadpool has to go into maybe to not get even, Butterball. Maybe not specifically Stryker even. Um, there's so many in, in the is X-Men it, universe. It's not Stryker. A, I'm thinking Trask too or Task. Trask is Trask. another one. Uh, it could be either of the two. There's mm-hmm. there's a bunch of anti, anti-mutant anti ones. Mm-hmm. It's basically about um, segregation in a sense. Yeah. Um, um, but what it is is um, – excuse me um, – it's all, that, it's all that Burger King ate before the podcast. I ate, we ate. Yeah, we ate. <laughs> um, what's going to happen is it's going to be some sort of anti-mutant thing, either Trask mm-hmm. or Striker, and that's who's going to be the, probably the main villain, because that's what the X-Men usually fight in the end. Yeah. For Even the most though this part. isn't a, and I'm using air quotes, X-Men movie. Yeah. It's a Deadpool movie, but really it's got X-Men That's in what it. they almost always fight. I mean, yeah, there's also uh, Mr. Sinister. Mm-hmm. There's um, Apocalypse. I don't, I don't think they drop Mr. Sinister in on this. No, I'm just saying, though. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, the X-Men universe. Yeah. They fight Mr. Sinister. They fight um, Apocalypse. There's Do some other one. they fight Doctor Doom? Or is it mainly the Fantastic Four? That's mainly the Fantastic Four. I know the Avengers have done it. Maybe a little bit the X Men, but I don't hear. I don't. You don't usually mm-hmm. hear them correlated at all. Galactus. Time. Galactus is everyone slash Fantastic Four. Okay. They, usually from the comics, what I remember is either the evil mutants like Magneto, Sabretooth. Yeah, or that the Brotherhood. Um, the I Brotherhood. Mean. Um, I remember them going up against Galactus in the cartoon. I remember basically But that Sentinels. was everyone, wasn't it? Yeah, but Sentinels as well, but that was kind of like, they're not main bad guys, they're just used as tools. Yeah, exactly. To so it's, go against but the who, X-Men. for the majority, who they, who they up against, either if it's fighting or just like... Usually it's the Brotherhood. Like, that's the main... Well, I mean, group. besides the Brotherhood, who's the main enemy? Usually it's some sort of anti-mutant mm-hmm. group, right? Yeah. Not necessarily fighting, but... Somebody who's afraid of mutants and wants to keep them yeah, under wraps so exactly. that they don't hurt the general population. You gotta keep them under control. Yeah, basically. But this is where... Bunch of gutter trash. <laughs> Do you have any other thoughts about this trailer or this movie before we move on. No, I'm excited. It looks hilarious and that's what I'm expe- that's mostly what I'm expecting out of Deadpool anyways. Well, this is where you guys come in. Let us know what you think down below in the comment section. What do you think of the new trailer from Deadpool? That is in the description. Let us know what you think and your expectations for Deadpool coming into I believe what it's May. Early May with Deadpool. Early May. Yes. Um let us know what you guys think down below in that comment section.